and on to the next game, Mass Effect 2. Right yeah. along, Dark and Ran. Hello. Bringing over previous uh, save, so that we actually have you know a decent galaxy to work that's actually worth saving again. Yeah, kind of important. Maybe sort of. Uh, just a little bit. So, how long do you think it's going to be before everything hits the fan? Um, I give it less than five minutes. Well, let's see how long it lasts. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, even saving the Council. Humanity has the trust of the entire galaxy. And still, it's not enough. Our sacrifices have earned the Council's gratitude, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth! We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after we know that name has accomplished. <coughs> but yeah. Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, he's then not enough not to trust you bastards. <laughs> then see to it that we don't lose him. I'm not even going to try re reading it this time. More than one month after the devastating gear that I got to see the community community struggles to move. The Lion's Fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Cedar Council and earn humanity to the membership of the prestigious group. <laughs> now the Council is... <laughs> yeah, it's no, still it too fast. Not even remotely close. <laughs> I know I'm not exactly a fast reader, but... Yeah. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. It's a little bit of a running side. Yeah. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. No, Presley. These ships went missing here in the past month. Ah, yes. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Hello, Hello random ensign. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept. Ominous trajectory. music. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. Mm. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Joker being genre savvy. Yep. Presley! Uh, United barriers down. That was fast. Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Uh just be curious, we're three minutes in. So no, not even five minutes. To be fair, I say less than five minutes. Yeah, less than five minutes. So it was just right. Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape ship. Joker's shot. still in the cockpit. Won't Sign. Yeah, she did. The 
say that, that when I saw someone without an actual name, the first thing I thought was when was about how she was gonna die. <laughs> I mean, you're not up to mark. Yeah, Joker does not have exclusive exclusive rights to Jan Rasavi. <laughs> You know, if it weren't the circumstances, it'd actually be kind of pretty. Yeah. So, uh, you weren't too attached to the Normandy, were you? Uh, and then, not really. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice ship. Well, yeah. it was a nice ship. And it was more attached to, to its technological and strategical value than its actual I like to crew more. No, I won't yeah. abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. It is kind of a tower entire argument to convince him was it religious. No. Sometimes you just need someone to tell, tell you the truth. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, Joker's not an irrational person. He's just very confident and doesn't want to admit the beat. Yeah, I understand that one. Uh, Shepard gets the launch on the pod. Oh. So, so Joker's safe. Yeah. We, not so much. Eh, we'll be fine. About that. We will be fine. I don't know, a suit breach and vacuum? That's kind of a death sentence. And an orbital re-entry isn't exactly very healthy. Minor details. Okay, everyone, game over. Shepard's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Mass Effect 2, eight minute long disaster. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The project will proceed as planned. Wasn't Miranda the one from Cerberus? Yep. Cool. We're getting modified. Remember what uh, Elusive Man, the guy she was with, said? Then see to it we don't lose him. Uh, you know, in, in the first game they were doing quite a few experimentations for super soldiers and stuff, so... Yeah? <laughs> oh, right, I might want to... That's the right face. I think it's the same one. It looks similar, at least. It looks similar, but I have I have the face code to uh, ah. actually. Oh god. Yeah, Mass Effect One was uh, not very good with this character creator, was it? Mm -hmm. uh, eyes, eyes, eyes. Iris going. 
bread. Why not? I think that's brownish. Can't tell. Uh, yeah, something like that. That's definitely not brown arrow. That's hair like Yeah. Add some more here so I can actually see. Probably a good idea, yes. That's actually probably closer. Yeah, that's decently brownish, yes. Okay. And the rest of it's fine. We don't get scars because, well, we are kind of getting rebuilt. Makes sense. Same old classes. Soldier. Weapon training. All. Oh. Eh, no need to be an infiltrator this time, huh? Nope. Oh yeah, since I've played through the fucking game, I can pick any bonus power. Hmm. Arm piercing ammo, barrier slam, geth shield boost. Oh my. You drink Reeve, Neural Shock. Shredder ammo, warp ammo, inferno grenade, flashbang grenade, barrier. Hmm. Boring but practical. Yeah, sounds like you are right. Uh, hmm. Or at least your usual kind of choices. You tend to not be boring at least. Not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stack's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Staff falling back into normal range. I'm too close. You almost lost him. I told you, your are in the floor. Run the numbers again. Well, at least she's serious about her job. Yeah? If she's got to keep us alive, she's gonna keep us the fuck alive, it's... Yep. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. <coughs> oh, I guess she, she's sitting the fine again. Yep. Pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip. Starts with uh, all that extra paragon. Hmm. And a little bit extra renegade. Let's see, go ahead and put a point into hmm. the... combat mastery. Because that bonus mm. paragon renegade score. Uh, I guess they cost more in higher levels. So they reduced it from a lot of levels with one cost each to like basically uh, the paragon, the charm, and uh, intimidate uh, decisions are now blocked behind just flat how high your paragon is or renegade. Oh, I was referring to the power costs. Oh, power costs? Yeah, it's I just yeah, straight okay. up. You were one in combat mastery and are saving the other one, I suppose. So of course you want even more combat mastery. And now I can actually reload without throwing grenades. Yes. Of course that also means you don't have infinite ammo anymore, so eh, it does. Right. Security makes a close, don't take any chances. Stay uh get back and cover you idiot. Take out those mechs. <laughs> and so now I'm using disruptor ammo. Synthetics? Yeah. Yeah. 
rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets. Cool. Now, question is, will all weapons uh, have ammo limits now, or will the yeah, will there be one? That's a big boy. Just curious if there's, just curious if there's an exception somewhere. I don't think there are any in this game. Okay. Uh, I mostly just was curious because since her excuse was wearing, she's just a medic, a medley thing. She may sound like that's not the norm, but you know. Just front of I mean, I've got armor. Yeah. And also, her saying it's a med bay was him was her response to Shepard saying saying this. Uh, the dig uh, gun didn't have a clip. It didn't have a thermal clip or yeah. something. Yeah, which is basically the magazine. Biosynthesis, huh? Yeah. This would be the uh, Connect the Dots minigame, except no. <coughs> okay. We don't we don't have time for that shit. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody's I guess we'll get to see the minigame later. I don't know where the nah, I just, all this money I bypass them. It's better not to know. I want to at least see what it's like. Ah, I can disable it at some point. Yeah, I mean, doesn't need to be all the time. Just yeah, I'll re-enable them later. Yeah, that's where I came from. Even if, it, even if it's just for like one puzzle. Let's say you want the optional list. A little overkill, but okay. I don't think we were able to help them. Stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. It's usually nice. Yeah. Is it gonna be a replacement for... You know. For... Yeah. <clears throat> the companion we lost in the first game. Ready to get the hell off I'll let station. you find that out. Before we go anywhere, yeah. I need some answers. Sure. What do you want to know? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? 
I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. I kinda like all the gunfire in the background and we're just having a casual conversation. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's the quickest Let's way to off the station? <laughs> yeah. Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best to check. You... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. And he's using incendiary ammo. Good against armor, good against health. Also makes people panic because not many organics like being set on fire. Yeah, that's usually how that goes. There's all, and again, as you saw, there's also shredder, armor, armor piercing, and a nice variety. There's also a uh, cryo ammo. Find us another route out of here. Prefer Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Up those stairs, shut up or... <laughs> kind of noticed. They shot me! No, he's awfully chatty for someone who's apparently in a life-threatening situation. Right. Then again, they usually are. So that's why I'm going to do a complete Renegade playthrough now. <laughs> Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. You don't need to say it twice. Shh. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. 
Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... It's only a few cold yeah, bodies to the canister away. to clear a path to the shuttle. Mm. Someone went to put it? Let's get out of here. Oh, they're dead. <coughs> okay, that was fast. But this is I barely case. managed to not this time. I'm going to tell you who we work for. Will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human yeah. center group, right? And that is. Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. This would be the other mini game, but uh, like we said before, currently off. Yep, we'll check on them later. Uh, how'd you get over there? Oh, you're not dead. Now you are. Did you find the, the remedy for him not being dead? <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but if you, uh, whenever I take them out with a headshot, they explode. Cool. Everyone else on this freaking station. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long term exposure to vacuum and sub zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Salvageable. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Not the kind of world you want to hear from about a person. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> if you say so, Man. what's our Not next wrong. step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? 
I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. That's kind of a stupid question. There's only one yeah. way. There's only one way off this crate. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had oh enough boy. of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. <laughs> Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid. Raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant uh. Kovalenko was killed in action. <laughs> It was your call. <clears throat> Why did you leave him behind? Fuck off me, Landa. <laughs> I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human Council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. So, how elusive is the elusive man? Some could say... very elusive. Oh my! The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. It's actually the achievement for talking to him, I think. Let's get this little dialogue out of the way. Was the achievement for talking to him? Very elusive. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. 
That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus <laughs> isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. He's not wrong. Mm -hmm. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Is this a volunteer job or am I being volunteered? <laughs> you always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Well, with how much money he spent on us, I think that's the least we can... Yeah. Get a little return on investment. So and we can at least humor him and going to investigate. Yeah. So next time, get to know these two in front of us, and go investigate yeah. an empty colony. Oh my! But that's next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>